Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit to this, to my mountains. One of the things I wanted to add was, a lot of times mountains have a lot of like timber trees, evergreen trees. So I'm gonna take some greens here. And if something's really far away, it's probably not super bright. So I'm taking my dark greens, even with a little yellow, just cause I like to mix colors. And I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of my purple to try to give that a deeper tone a little more earthier tone. And then um, I'm gonna use this really tiny brush and I'm just gonna be adding some like tiny little marks. Just straight vertical lines, like some, some groups of trees. And like maybe down towards the bottom, they might be thicker and they might be a little bit taller. And then as they go up the side of the mountain, they should be kind of tiny little wisps. And so if you do little pockets of them, in you know on the upsides of a mountain you kind of have just little little tiny marks you don't have to fill a whole mountain full of these it's just a few little marks that really um, give you that sense of space and that there's something you know growing living over there and um, another thing uh, it really adds to your the feeling of space in this So maybe along some of the area of the shore, there's a bunch of trees growing because wherever there's water, you think of a lot of things growing. And then as, you, as I say, just up on your mountains, a little bit of shorter kind of, oops, tinier little bits of tree. And really, that's all I'm gonna do to finish this painting, is just add a few extra things there, a few extra details that um, really does kind of make it look more finished. And any, any little extra you add, even with the tiniest brush, just makes it feel a little bit more finished. Maybe even add a few here. And if you add some trees that are up in the air like that, they're not gonna be just a tree. You might even add some like little marks going side to side for like some of the branches. Might do a few over here, just a few like group of branches, just to give you that sense of the evergreens. And I'm really trying to do it kind of dry brush. I don't have a lot, I'm not gonna do those little ones. It'd be anything like close to the ground you wouldn't really see them probably far away. Give it a kind of fuzzy tree kind of look. And that is really about it. And I hope you um, enjoy practicing something like this. It's kind of fun to paint something that looks a little bit more real, especially a natural landscape. There's so much to see outside that when you do take the jump and try something with so many details and you, you know, don't need a million details to really pull out a uh, detailed drawing, painting. Um, it really makes a difference. So can't wait to see what you make.